And so the saga continues. Oh, God, I can't even remember the last time I got my hands this dirty. I've been doing so much digital art, which, you know, is clean and fun and everybody can read it. But geez, sometimes I just want to stick my hands inside the stomach of like some sort of beast. Ooh, Pam, did you? Oh, yummy, yummy. That's a bummer. Okay, a mummy, you know, very classic. Now, what I will say is the plague is definitely a type of mummy. Very much a killer from antiquity. And, you know, even the hag has some sort of elements of this shambling thing. And while I understand those things, I, I really just have this desire to bring back what the classical concept of a mummy was. I'm talking about this zombie that has this sort of like relished power and this this preservation and horror to it it's a really cool aesthetic that i just want even more invested in i got two hillbillies in the game if you want to count the plague as a mummy then you can have two mummies you know what i mean i think it should have multiple abilities that would pull in survivors from the distance maybe he could corrupt generators so that they just you can't work on that one no that's too powerful You know, I was a little bit too focused on this idea of a bandaged figure. What if the mummy is in a spot in the map, or a cursed grave, and there's a spirit or a ghost that comes out of it? Kind of like the Wraith, when invisible, except he's made of, like, bugs. And he's got these pestilence hands, right? Here's the way it works. There'd be a place in the map, which is a sarcophagus. Now, the killer himself is a floating skeleton held up by wings and bandages. He's mostly made of bugs. He's a pestilence. He sort of levitates around. He moves very fast, okay? You know, the speed is a disadvantage, but if you go back to the sarcophagus and you cleanse it, kind of like a totem, he, like, slows down. Now, a sarcophagus reset takes about as long as a generator, so it is a big waste of your time, but it stops him from getting faster. So if he never gets reset the whole match, he's kind of like Michael Myers, where he just kind of, like, keeps growing in strength. He's also got this thing called Swarm, where he can throw out his bugs and they can attach themselves to a generator or attach themselves to a ledge or a pallet. And if that pallet or ledge or anything is interacted with, it can uh, deal a damage state to a survivor. Ooh, the husk, that's what it could be called. Because he should be able to get faster and faster as the match goes on. And I think it get a little bit difficult towards the end. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it slows down at the end game, kind of like how they nerfed the pig. It's kind of an abstract idea. I just want to see more boundary pushing with the visual aesthetic. I want more ghosts and ghoulies, man. I want some more spooky shit.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I've got one plan for every day this month, so stay tuned. And of course, Instagram, portfolio, Twitter. And hey, did you know that I actually write and draw comics? I've got tons of comics you can read for free over my portfolio. Just follow the links below and let's check each other out, okay?